morning and welcome to another episode of the marathon life's not a sprint it's a marathon i just filmed tonight's video today you'll recognize the sweatshirt it was the juicy q a y'all were juicy happy to do that again okay thomas we're gonna put on our socks and then we're gonna go for a ride in the car would you like to say good morning hi everyone wearing his v-shirt long weekend life today's oh. monday but it's a long weekend right uh -uh. We're gonna go put on our shoes and go in the car. It's family day in BC. Thomas has the day off, obviously. I've done all my client work for this morning. Let's go, please. Thank you. And, oh, oh, what? Oh, hi. Oh. Okay, go. We're off to the bench, which is one of my favorite places. And we are meeting Nicole, one of the owners of Little Engine Winery. Oh, good walking down the stairs, sir. So that's really exciting. Why are you so handsome? Oh, he laughs. It's minus five. And so you may be thinking, Mayor, why on earth are you just wearing a jean jacket instead of your nice big winter coat? Well, dear marathoner, let me tell you a little ditty, a little story. Last night, I went to a concert. It was Cold Creek County, the Washboard Union, and Old Dominion. It was really fun, but I wore my coat and it was sitting on my seat at the arena and I had just gone and bought a drink for ten dollars had one sip and it was sitting in the like drink holder at my seat some d-bag walked in front of me totally spilled all the drink all like I'm sure oh just so gross so then my feet were in some sort of cranberry cooler for the rest of the show and I thought that I had done a good job of like holding my coat up and like folding it into the seat but alas it smells like booze this morning and I will not go out in a booze smelling coat so that's why we're wearing the jean jacket and we're pretty cool right now I love going to a country show and hearing everyone sing along because when you work on the radio you don't really think about people listening like that I know that sounds weird but it, to be in an arena with like 6,000 people and everyone singing along it's like oh you guys like the music we play just as much as we do so it's, it's fun I got to meet some listeners last night it was fun even went out after the, sh the concert. Who am I? We're at the radio station. It feels very like throwback Thursday, even though it's Monday. It, for some reason, made me think of when I used to do weekends here and you and I would hang out and we would like make the tea and get the food and just a throwback. But today I'm here with a very special guest. Might I introduce you to Country 100.7's Little buddy, <laughs> Thomas is just having a little snickety snack while I do some work. It is a beautiful day out. Can I show you? This would also be a TBT on a Monday. Remember when I always used to put like time lapses? Whoa, this feels like Stranger Things. That's crazy. Has anyone tried this? Can you tell me? Can you report back? What? Why? Green Caesars? Is that for St. Patrick's Day? Oh my gosh, what? What? Lots of 
to errands today. <laughs> oh my god. We just went to IGA, got some food, and then I realized like, oh, we're two days out from Valentine's Day. I guess we better go buy some Valentine's for Thomas's class. And he's been like this, grumpy today. I'm grumpy too, bud. So, go to shoppers to buy Valentine's. That sucked. Previous mayor would have made the Valentine's painstakingly with him. 2018 mayor, nope. No ma'am, we're doing Thomas the Train today. <laughs> and I managed to find some cute cards for his teachers, which was nice because I couldn't find them for a while and I was like, am I gonna have to get some ridiculously like sexual card and try and make it funny? But there was some teacher ones at the bottom, thank goodness. There was one that like was unfortunate because it said, Happy Valentine's, you do you on the inside. And I thought to myself, well, this is perfect. But <laughs> the front had a woman meeting a frog, then kissing a frog, then the frog and her being like friends, and then her eating frog's legs. And then the inside said, Happy Valentine's, you do you. And I thought, mm, that's maybe not appropriate. <laughs> but we did it. We did it. South high five. It's quarter to five. I'm like pretty done for the day. I know I got asked about Valentine's Day in my juicy Q&A, but I'm curious how you, you feel about Valentine's Day. Do you love it? Is it the one day a year where you and your spouse or your partner do something for each other? Do you hate it? Are you indifferent? Are you single and how do you feel about it? Like I said, it was never, I mean, probably early in our relationship, it was more fun, but in the last few years, I don't even know if we acknowledged it last year. Just like, I don't, I don't know. We exchanged cards, I think, pretty sure. Anyway, curious what you think. Did a quick tidy basically getting all the laundry I've done this weekend up to the main floor so that I can put it away tonight. Need to do that. Need to like prep for the week. And just kind of trying to get things together. <laughs> you know, I try to do that on the weekend. Um, but when we were at IGA, I saw these for the first time, so I'm gonna bake a few. I've never had them before. They're the Zorba's Authentic Falafels. They're vegetarian. <laughs> Or vegan too. They looked up just chickpeas, onion, water, canola oil, parsley, garlic, baking soda, spices, salt, and citric acid. So that seemed like a good mix. So I'm gonna make myself some of these. Thrilling dinner of salad, three of those falafels. Probably have half of that pretzel bun with some hummus. Put the other half in Thomas's lunch tomorrow. What a black. <laughs> oh, socks. Sock hands. Who needs oh. toys when you have sock hands? <laughs> Who needs toys when you have mommy's reading socks? 